Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Microsoft Edge visual search feature and this allows you to search for uh, various images or any image on a particular web page and get more information about it and find similar images and that kind of thing. So it's really similar to the uh, Google Lens feature so if you're a Chrome user that you could uh, check for a related content based on an image search in uh, Google Chrome. So we're going to open up Edge here. So we have this weird looking dog here so let's say we wanted to find some additional information about it. All we have to do is right click on it and choose the visual search option. Then it'll open a new pane in the right here with all the information it finds or you can narrow it down to looks like. So it looks like it found this particular breed here and then similar pages with this dog on it. You could click on any of these to take it to the results and also related content and related searches and that kind of thing. So it's a little different than if you were to usually just go on and do a right click and then a search web for this image. It'll kind of do the same thing, but it'll open it in a new tab and you'll have similar categories. So it's just the visual search does a similar thing. It just opens it in its own pane right here. And then also you have an option to uh, have this visual search button. So when you hover over an image, you have the button right there and you have some options there. You could hide and go right to the settings or you could just go right to the same results. Speaking of settings, if you go to your edge settings and then the appearance category, not sure why it's under appearance, you'll find under context menus, uh, visual search, and then you have the option to turn it off for the right click uh, option. I don't know why you'd want to turn that off. It's not like it gets in the way. And then that little hover over button that I showed you, you could turn that off and on as well. And then if you want to turn off the capability to use it on particular websites, you could add websites right to it from here. So just a few options you could do. So once again, just, you know, pick any image, right click on it, do visual search, and then you'll be able to find whatever you need on it, hopefully, and take it from there. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.